Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Join me as we uncover unique energy solutions across Canada. Every week, we'll bring you the stories of people in businesses and communities who are changing the way we power this country. Today, we have a tale of two wind farms built 45 minutes from each other, but built with two entirely different development models. The first one is the type you're probably more familiar with. Edmonton-based utility Capital Power is currently building the Quality Wind Project near Tumbler Ridge in British Columbia. Steve Owens is Project Manager with Capital Power. Hi, I'm Steve Owens. I'm the Senior Project Manager for the Quality Wind Project. Uh, I work for Capital Power out of Edmonton. This project is a 142 megawatts wind project. It's a uh, total of 79. 1.8 megawatt Vestas turbines. Those are big turbines. Those are huge turbines. So these blades are for a V100. Uh, a V100 means that from tip to tip, uh, the blades will be uh, 100 meters across. It's the size of a football field. So these two blades are both 49 meters each. How much energy will each turbine produce and then how much will the, the wind farm produce? Yeah, so each turbine is gonna produce 1.8 megawatt, megawatts. Total output of the, the wind farm, its capacity is 142.2. Uh, it'll produce enough energy and, uh, to power 43,000 homes. Steve Owens told us that Capital Power is attempting to create a balanced portfolio of energy projects. It's safe to say that Capital Power is learning the wind business, since the big utility purchased both this 142-megawatt project and their 150-megawatt Halkirk, Alberta project from smaller wind developers. Chinook Power, in the case of the Quality Project, and Greengate Power for the Halkirk Project. For wind right now, we've got four projects. Uh, we've got one operating right now in Ontario, about 40 megawatts. Uh, we've got three others under development. So uh, by 14, uh, two, 2014, uh, we'll have about 480, 487 megawatts of wind power. The other wind farm is Bear Mountain Wind Park overlooking Dawson Creek. It was a grassroots, bottom-up, community-led initiative. Here's City Councillor Cheryl Schumann on how Bear Mountain Wind Park got started. Back in uh, 2003, a group of people formed something called the Peace Energy Cooperative and uh, we got the investigative use permit for uh, this land up here on Bear Mountain and uh, we, we got that permit and then we were um, able to secure a development company to come in and help us develop a project. And uh, then once we got our project developed with the help of Aeolus Wind Energy Corpor Corporation out of uh, Sydney on Vancouver Island, um, we were able to develop the project, get a uh, power supply agreement with BC Hydro, and then we were able to uh, inspire Alta Gas to come along with their big bags of money and help us build it. Bear Mountain Wind Park was the very first large-scale wind development in British Columbia. The Peace Energy Cooperative was the first of its kind in Western Canada, a for-profit co-op that looked to maximize returns for its members, local Dawson Creek residents. Don Pettit is a local businessman and one of the founders. I don't think you can overplay the benefit of a cooperative model for this kind of development. I mean, what you're doing is you're involving the people uh, in the area who will be affected, right, they will see it, right, and involving them in the actual um, planning stages, in the consultation stages, and then because they're members of this cooperative that are part, owner, part owners of the facility, they receive income from it for the life of the facility, which in this case is 25 years. That financial compensation part is super important. While Capital Power might not have to worry about NIMBY and protesters in sparsely populated northeastern British Columbia, anti-wind forces have become quite organized in Ontario. Spreading the benefits of a wind development through a community via a cooperative ensures that the community will be on board. You don't see angry confrontations in Germany, where over 200,000 Germans see money in their pockets from a nearby wind turbine. For photo galleries, blogs, and much more, head on over to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd also love to hear from you on Twitter and Facebook. I'm David Dodge.